So I've been wanting to get some blackout blinds for a while now, so I'm glad that Blinds Magic went ahead and reached out and sent me their blackout blinds. So here's the box that it comes with, and the specifications are going to be on the box itself. So here you can see the fabric I ordered was brown with 28 and 3 eighths, height 44 and an eighth, motor is Zigbee, roll type reverse, motor side right, no solar panel, no remote control, and then this is gonna be bedroom window two, which is gonna be this one in front of me. And then up top, this is gonna have the remote control right here. It's gonna have a six channel remote control, so I can control up to six of these. So inside the box, there's gonna be this baggie which has all the hardware, including the two brackets and the screws. Then we have the quick user guide, which is actually gonna be pretty long. And finally, the blind itself. There's also gonna be these at the end, which turn out to be cables because right here it says to not cut it. Now, when it comes time to installing the bracket, we could either screw it in directly to the ceiling or to the side. And in my case, I'm gonna screw it in to the ceiling up top. So I'm gonna use this platform here and I'm gonna use two screws, one over here and one over here. And when it's time to install it on the blinds themselves, it's pretty easy just because this white piece goes ahead and springs back in place. So it fits right inside this groove here. And then when I push it in this way, it could lock inside just like so. Now Blinds Magic recommends screwing in the bracket four inches from the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that with a pencil. So now what I'm doing is just marking the spots where I'm gonna go ahead and drill a pilot hole. And now the bracket's gonna be screwed onto place. All right, now the blind can be installed simply by inserting it from the front, pushing back, and then pushing backwards and it stays still. And then if it's a little misaligned, we can just go ahead and push inwards and just move it until it's nice and even. And then the same thing over here. So here's the finished blinds and I think they end up looking pretty nice. And one more thing I did is to install the remote holder right by my bed so it's easier to go ahead and use it. So here's a closer look at the remote control and there's gonna be a lot of different functions. If we press this, this raises the blinds, this one lowers the blinds and this one stops it. And if we wanna move it just a little bit, it'll be this one or this one. And if we wanna change the channel, we just press minus or plus. And in this case, there's gonna be six different channels. So this is gonna be channel one, two, three, four, five, six, and zero. And zero means we can go ahead and control all the blinds. So I actually leave it at this setting. So if I wanna raise or lower the blinds, I can go ahead and do it together. Now for the favorite position, I went ahead and set it to the low position. So this way when I click it, the blinds are gonna go ahead and go all the way down just like this. Now another thing I customized is gonna be the motor speed because right out of the box, it's gonna be at its slowest setting. And there's gonna be three different speed settings. I increased it to the highest level. And if you wanna go ahead and increase it, we have to remove the back cover and then press P1, press the square, and then either decrease to decrease the speed or increase to increase the speed. So if you're ordering these blinds, you do have to measure the size correctly just because these are custom made. So you have to measure the width and the length. Now the length is pretty self-explanatory, but for the width, I got confused because I measured 28 and 3 eighths and I didn't know how long it would be if it was referring to this part or to this part. And turns out it's referring to right over here. So in that case, I should have measured from this to this. So it would go ahead and be as long as possible. So there's not like these gaps here but that's fine. Now I know for next time. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the blinds. Of course, there are gonna be some gaps because I didn't really measure correctly. And also because these are gonna be uh, hanging out a little bit out of the window. So if I ordered the version where this is actually on the inside, it would have covered it a little bit better, but that's fine. It still goes ahead and works. It's handy and especially easy because I can just use the remote control to go ahead and control it. But yeah, that's a quick look at the blinds from Blind Magic.